What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Living Colorado Springs and I am Alicia Armendariz. Today I am excited about this topic because I feel it's pretty relevant with what's going on right now. Not so much going to be a neighborhood highlight, but talking about what are some of the best opportunities that buyers are seeing right now to move here in Colorado in 2022. A lot of people have been hearing things on the media about what's predicted with the market, what they think is going on with the market. Are we in a bubble? Well, here in the Colorado Springs area, I'm going to tell you guys why buyers still have a great opportunity to get into a home. So if you want to find out more, stay tuned. And guys, if at any point you have any questions over anything that I mentioned today in this video, please feel free to call me, text me, send me an email, reach out in the comments. That information is there for you guys to utilize. I am a licensed broker here in the state of Colorado, so I would love to help you through real estate needs and just help with the buying and selling process. Also, hit that subscribe button and bell so that you guys can get notified when I make new videos each week on everything that is living Colorado Springs. But for right now, let's get into it. You buyers, what are some of the factors that are making it so awesome for you to get into a home right now? Well, first off, kind of the obvious, inventory. We just haven't had any in a while, especially this past spring and a couple months before that. So right now, we started seeing interest rates creep up about a month ago, and as they were climbing, it actually squeezed out a lot of buyers. That interest rate was just too high for some buyers at certain price points to be able to make that monthly mortgage payment. So as that interest rate started to rise, the amount of buyers in your buyer pool got less. Therefore, sellers started kind of freaking out and thinking, oh man, did I miss my opportunity to sell? And they reached out and they started listing their homes. Well, now we have about 20 to 30% more homes coming on the market than we did last month. So we definitely have inventory. That's awesome for you buyers because six months ago, we didn't have any inventory for you guys. If something came on the market, I'd get a phone call and we'd be out there and we'd be looking at it immediately as with every other buyer and agent out there. So the fact that there is more inventory with less buyers out shopping, that is a super great advantage for you that are out right now. You got more options. You can take your time to really go look at these homes. You can take your time to consider these homes. You don't have to just be waiving inspections and just writing offers to just write an offer on something you kind of want to settle for. You actually have options to really dial in your home search and be in the neighborhood or in the areas that you want to be in. Again, with that interest rate though, yes, it was climbing, but it kind of stayed steady right now. And actually about a week and a half ago, it kind of dipped just a little, then it came back up just slightly, but it's not continuously on the rise like we were seeing it. It's kind of steadied out and just kind of hanging out and stabilizing. And so if you had previously been talking to a lender or if you want to talk to my preferred lender, like definitely let's do that get you situated again, maybe locked in with the rate that is right now, and then get you out back buying. So because sellers do have more competition, they are starting to notice that their homes are sitting on the market a little bit longer. They're actually on average sitting on the market around 20 days now, right between maybe 18 to even 25, but right around 20 days are sitting on the market versus 20 seconds about six months ago. So the fact that these sellers are sitting on the market a little bit longer, you buyers have a little bit more leverage to negotiate with sellers. And right now you can most likely get in at a home at list price, maybe even a little slightly below, but you know, I can honestly expect to maybe get around right at list price. And if you go and you see a home that's been sitting on the market around that 20 day mark, I guarantee that seller is gonna be open to working with you um, to get a deal done. Now, what are some of the things that sellers are doing to get that deal done? Well, some are doing price reductions, but others are giving seller concessions. And what a seller concession is, is a credit to the buyer at closing. So how is that benefic beneficial for you guys as buyers? Well, you can use that money to buy down your interest rate. 
Sometimes it can be a huge amount, sometimes it can be a little amount, that depends on your own financing and the home price, but it's a great option, which means you guys get to keep more money in your pocket versus six months ago when you had to be able to approve for a mortgage, you had to have money for a down payment, you had to have cash for an appraisal gap if you couldn't cover the amount that you offered and then you know what it actually appraised for. So right now you can get into that home most likely at list price, like I said, maybe slightly below, but even at list price and you can ask that seller for a seller concession that you can use to buy down your interest rate, which means you can pretty much try and get your mortgage at the point that you want it at. So huge benefit to buyers to be out right now. With that being said, who else is giving seller concessions? Well, new builds. Right now, new builds have to compete with all the traditional sellers and existing homes. So they definitely want to get rid of all the inventory that they have on their books. They wanna move on to the next project. So right now we are just getting flooded with phone calls. I'm getting flooded with phone calls and emails and text messages from new build reps that have a variety of homes that are move-in ready. They have the top of the line appliances, modern decor, uh, modern paint trends, you name it. So if going the new build route is something you've been considering, I would definitely look into it because they also give their own incentives. New builds usually give incentives in general, but right now we're just seeing so many more incentives when it comes to the, the design center and then also from a lending standpoint. So new builds are definitely something that you should be considering when out looking to buy right now. Well, there you go, guys. This one was short and sweet and to the point on some of the best opportunities that you guys as buyers can take advantage of when buying here in Colorado. If you guys have any questions over anything that I mentioned today, or like I said, just the home buying or selling process, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, I am that licensed broker here in Colorado, and I would love to help you with your real estate needs. Call me, text me, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button and bell. Until next time, I hope you guys have a good one.